Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a multimeter to test the fuses in your car. So like if you have a uh, fuse that you're um, suspect of it, uh, you know, being bad, there's an easy way to test it with a multimeter. And I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys. Um, Multimeters, price-wise, they range from really inexpensive to really, really expensive. There's a lot of different options out there. So, you know, take a look around, see what works best for you. I ended up getting the Fluke 117. I use this on a lot of uh, different things. I have arcade games and stuff. So I end up using this quite a bit. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and show you the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to turn it to the continuity setting, which is this symbol right here. So if we turn it down to there, we're now, uh, you know, testing for continuity. And what you see there, the OL, uh, open line, open circuit, uh, infinite resistance, basically just meaning that, um, you know, there's no, um, between the two test leads, there's a break in the line. Um, if you touch the two test leads together, you can hear that beep. Most multimeters are going to give you that beep, but if they don't, uh, you'll see the number there change to, to zero like it did um, in this case. So um, let's go ahead and head out to the car. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Um, one thing, anytime you're working on a vehicle, always wear your safety glasses. Really important. I'm going to go ahead and put mine on now and we'll head out to the car and uh, show you how this is done. All right, guys, we're at the fuse box in my 2006 Corolla. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do this now. But the first thing that you need to do when you're out here is unhook your battery. Um, you can see that mine's unhooked there. Anytime that you're working with uh, fuses and relays, you always want to disconnect your battery completely, um, you know, so that you don't risk electrical shock of hurting yourself or the car. All right, guys, when you do disconnect your battery, um, you always take the negative cable off first and just make sure it's completely out of the way and not going to accidentally, you know, touch back. Then after that, you can loosen up your positive, um, you know, the, the nut and bolt on your positive, and then you can wiggle, wiggle off your positive cable like so. Um, okay, so first thing I want to do before we use the multimeter is I'm going to use the fuse puller here. I'm going to pull out this fuse right here. And I want to take a look at it with you guys. Um, let's make sure it focuses here. You can see on the left and right side of the 15 there that there is uh, metal contacts. Those two metal contacts there are where we're going to stick the red and black leads from our multimeter. Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to allow to test if the circuit's complete or broken without removing the fuse. We can visually see this one's good, but we're going to go ahead and, and test it anyways. Let's go ahead and put this one back in here, like so. And now we will grab both the red and black leads for our multimeter. Make sure you guys got a good view of it there. And we can just start testing. Um, we'll go ahead and let's test the, the 15 that we just took out. We can stick the black on one side and the red on other. And we can hear the beep there. Um, that beep's nice if you have a multimeter that has it because instead of looking back and forth to the multimeter itself, um, you can just listen for that beep and know that the fuse is good. Those three fuses there are actually uh, spares that they give you. But let's go ahead and do this bank of four here and we'll just show you how quick it is to run through these. We know that one's good. We know that one's good. We know that one's good. And we know that one's good. So you can see how easy that is and uh, you know how, how nice it is to have that beep because it just allows you to hear as you go through the fuses what's good and what isn't. All right, guys, so once you're done, don't forget to hook your battery back up. Um, you do that by hooking up the positive cable first, like so, and you can tighten the nut all the way down as tight as you can get it with your hand, and then get it all the way tight uh, with a wrench, like so. Um, we'll go ahead and do that now. And then when you're done getting it tight, uh, get the cover replaced on the positive terminal. Then you can take your negative cable and hook it up to the negative terminal like so. Um, and same deal, get it as tight as you can by hand. Um, and then once you got it uh, as tight as you can get by hand, you can go ahead and tighten it up with the wrench um, to get it all the way tight. And we'll go ahead and finish that up right now. 
All right, guys, well, it was easy as that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. Don't forget to hook your battery back up when you're all done. And thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I do appreciate you guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.